guys, it's Tiffany here. Did you notice that my background isn't what you would normally see? It's because I am staying in a yurt. So I don't know about you guys, but I've been feeling a little bit stuck since we can't travel anywhere outside internationally right now. What I've been doing instead is I've been trying to research places and see areas that I can kind of road trip to where I can still get my travel fix but still be safe at the same time. On Airbnb, I actually found lots of really cool, unique experiences. And I found this awesome yurt in Salinas, California. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a yurt tour of this area. I really highly recommend it. I've had such a great time here. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now so I can show you guys my yurt. I'm sure that's what you really wanna look at. we're staying in today. Right here is the bathroom. The people in here are crazy. This is the yurt we're staying in and I'm super excited about it because it's my first time. So let's go inside. The yurt was a lot more spacious than we thought. We originally thought it would just be a tent with a few items, but the Airbnb owners did a really good job with this place. There was a furnace in case you got cold, lamps with extra plugs, a tub, and even its own kitchen area. So they really thought of everything in here. First off, let's talk about the details. Look, they put the cutest welcome sign. It was custom. Um, Kevin actually ordered this place on Airbnb and he kept mentioning me and my fiance, so she just wrote, Kevin and a fiance. Love it. I love how like, personal they are. There are some cool wine glasses that are available. Amy, the owner of Airbnb is so nice. She is actually offering us some wine so we can have it outside or and take advantage of that tonight. So with this Airbnb, it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of hard to get restaurants around here, especially during COVID. So they also offered us some patties like hamburgers. So we're just gonna make it at the grill tonight. I didn't get much footage of the outside, but it was absolutely adorable. There was a cozy little area with hanging lights and a bonfire pit that you could just relax at. It was also filled with lavender in the front and a view of this big vineyard. We got to eat dinner in the front near the fire pit, drank our wine, and even got to play with some friendly little visitors who, let's be real, just came to us for our food. Moving on to this entire year, the inside is just amazing. This is where we're gonna sleep tonight. The yurt came with a queen-size Tempur-Pedic bed. It was actually really comfortable to sleep in. My only advice is that if you get cold easily, bring an extra blanket. They also had a cute tub that we didn't get a chance to use, but we did see that they had a blow dryer and some shampoo and conditioner on the side that they put out. So that was it. That was my cool little yurt tour. I hope you liked it. I would highly recommend it for anyone who's interested in um, trying out a yurt. I feel like it's very similar to glamping. It kind of feels like it's a tent, but a really big, luxurious tent. You definitely hear everything at nighttime. There's a campfire outside, which was really awesome. And it was just a really fun experience. I would definitely do it again. So um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, you'll see my adventures. I'm going to try to document more of the local travels that I do around the area and give you guys ideas, hopefully, if you ever wanna go and visit the Bay Area. I also have so many interests, so if you guys wanna see something particular for me, please let me know. I'm always open to trying new things. In the meantime, I hope that you guys are having a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.